Hello everyone, my name is Mei Lang and welcome back to our third video on our Getting Started with Tableau series. In this short video, we will take a look at how to create basic calculated fields as well as how we use our parameters. So now there are very different types of uh, calculated fields that you can create and it can get quite complicated. So this video is really just to show you where you can create these calculated fields and find a little bit of information about the types of things that you can do. To create a calculated field, you will find the field that you're interested in creating a calculation on. So in this case, we are looking at uh, sales. And you will see that a menu will pop up and in the create um, area, you are able to select calculated field, group, bins, and parameter. If you hit onto the calculated field, this window will uh, show up. You can name your uh, calculation. This is where you can input your formula. And you will also be able to see the different types of functions that you can use. Um, this is sorted by the category of the uh, functions. So for example, you can go into the numbers to figure out uh, what is available and what the exact syntax is. If this is unavailable to you when you first click in, uh, you simply have to hit this little uh, arrow button and it will pop up. So for example, if I wanted to uh, do a calculation on, uh, say, taxes, I can take uh, sales times my uh, tax percentage, so say uh, 13%. And this would be my taxes. So here you will get a little message on whether the calculation is valid. You can apply, click OK. Uh, so what you'll see is your new calculated field will be added to either your dimensions or measures. And a little equal sign uh, will be next to the type of data. And this indicates that this was a calculated field. Now you can always uh, click into it, uh, left click and edit to change the formula as you see fit. There's a lot of uh, different types of functions, so uh, feel free to explore. So now let's take a look at parameters. Parameters are really variables that you can expose to the users to control. And wherever they are referenced, um, they will be uh, properly adjusted as the user changes it. Uh, for example, uh, parameter controls can be referenced during uh, creation of calculated fields. So as an example, let's create a parameter control for taxes. So if I right click, I can create a parameter, call it a tax rate. You can set the data type, so I will in this case set it to an integer. My current value is 13. I will display it as a, a standard number. And I might choose to set it at a minimum of 0 to a maximum of 50%. Uh, and the step is every time you scroll how big it is. So step 1 and click OK. So if I right click onto my parameter, I can uh, show the parameter control. And really this is uh, from zero to 50, the tax rate that the user can set. Now let's uh, first plot something uh, that uses the taxes. So for example, I have my um, tax by uh, region. Let's change that into a bar chart and show the numbers. So you can also just press control and 
uh, drag something that you're using to duplicate it. And here I have my sum of taxes. Now, if you recall, uh, my tax number was based on 13%. So if I right click and go to edit my formula, instead of using this 13%, I can reference my uh, parameter. So I go tax rate. So the square brackets are for the field and parameters. And divide that by 100. Click apply, OK. So as I change it, my taxes will change. So that was a very quick explanation of calculated fields and parameters. Uh, however, if your calculations are relatively simple, you don't actually need to create a calculated field. Uh, you could also use something called a, a table calculation. So let me just clear this and show you quickly. Um, if I wanted to say look at uh, my sales over the order date, we can create a line chart quite quickly. Here I have uh, the sales over my uh, the number of years. You could also uh, right, left click on to the uh, metric that you're interested in and use the quick table calculations. So right now it is on the sum of sales, but you could um, use the running total uh, or set it as uh, any of these other ones that are available. So we can clear this quickly. And in addition, if you don't want to use the sum, you can uh, set it the measure uh, to an average, median, count, or other types of uh, aggregation methods as well. So this is the max of sales. So thank you everyone for watching this quick video on calculated fields, parameters, and table calculations. Again, this is the getting started version. So we will go into more depth in each of those topics uh, in our later videos. Thank you very much for listening and we will see you in our next video.